Hey, look at this. Yeah, this is really terrible. Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to explore the culture of driving on the famous German Autobahn, and I will show you some of the do's and don'ts of high-speed driving. Along for the ride is my co-pilot and car expert, Andre Hammerling. Andre owns over 15 cars and spends a lot of time on the highway on tour as a swing musician. Okay, let's go. We're at three lanes. It's quite a bit of traffic, but I can already feel the discipline kicking in of being very aware of my surroundings, very aware of the speed. The German Autobahn is famous for having no general speed limit, but our journey begins within limits. Still a kind of a myth that you can, you can go on German Autobahns as fast as you want, which is actually not true. Speed limits became more. I used to drive 220, 240 sometimes. Or this wonderful car, you know, you don't feel the speed. You, know? you, you can go on 200, you still feel it like 120. Well, we <laughs> might experience that soon enough. What is the major don't of driving on the Autobahn? Well, I think it's uh, passing on the right. Passing only on the left. Only on the left. Don't try on the right. Don't do this. Hey, look at this. Yeah, this is really terrible. Did you see what she yeah, almost no, no, no. She almost hit you. She almost hit you. Unbelievable. But this is this kind of driving. Left lane is mine. Another major don't is tailgating. You can lose your license for up to three months, but that doesn't stop people from doing it. The main difference, I would say, with driving on the U.S. highways is the U.S. highways don't have many rules. You can pass on uh, all I know. sides. I, I, I know. The only I, thing you have to pay attention to is the speed limit. Yeah. Uh, even the distance, for example, you know, you're already too close to the white car. You're supposed to have half of oh, the... Yeah. Uh, uh, that's you're driving standard, on the 120, though. so it's 60 meters, and that's not 60 meters. We stop for a little break along the way. Germany has one of the longest highway networks in the world, with more than 13,000 kilometers stretching across the country. Talked a little bit about myths of the Autobahn. One being that there are no speed limits, which we've seen is absolutely not true. Tell me another major myth about this German highway. People are associating the Autobahn with the Third Reich with Adolf Hitler. Of course, it's partly correct because he actually expanded it. But the idea of having Autobahn in Germany was developed in the 1920s. He benefited from it, he developed it and it was part of his policies, but the original idea is older. There's actually a major debate here in Germany about imposing a speed limit on the German Autobahn. What do you think of that? The reckless driving won't stop just because of imposing a speed limit. I really uh, believe in a voluntary change of things. So it's better uh, to, to convince people uh, than to limit them. I'm for speed limit. Really? I don't understand why, because it seems to me as if uh, speed limits are just a, a recommendation to you. <laughs> I'm a good driver. And I'm about to prove that to Andre as we get back on the Autobahn. Oh, this is oh. off. Now, that is now. your chance. Okay. That's your chance. Now it's my chance. Yeah. Speed limit <laughs> signs have now indicated that we can go as fast as we but want. But you've got to rush because the speed limit is coming back in a, a mile or so. Here we go. 167. 188. Yeah. Uh, you don't feel it. I feel nothing. It's not, it's not fast. 200. I'm slowing down. Anyway, that's 120 now. The fun is over. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> so driving on the German Autobahn is both exhilarating and very stressful. And to tell you the truth, I got cited for speeding. That's going to be costly. But like with anything in life, no risk, no fun. See ya.